During International Women's Day yesterday, I spent my time thinking about two amazing Black women artists, Ms. Adrienne Kennedy, playwright, and Madame Josephine Baker, entertainer. Two women whose international travels were clutch to their careers and to the forward movement of Black people in our quest for justice and freedom. As Ms. Kennedy traveled throughout Europe and Africa during the earlier years of her marriage and her career, she struggled with her writing. Her mainstream agent wrote to her that he didn't think he could do anything with her work. Yet she persisted to complete the script for Funny House of a Negro, a necessarily disturbing invitation into the wrestling for racial identity and belonging and more inside the mind of a black woman. A script that went on to win the Obie Award for Distinguished Play from Off-Broadway's 1964 season. Madame Baker fled the United States like other artists of her time to find the space she needed to be her entire self as a Black woman and as a creative. I particularly enjoyed Girl Trek's take on her life and career, including her in their current list of cosmonauts during season four of their Black History Bootcamp series. In her episode, they bring up a term, pleasure activism, and compare it to respectability politics. Both are incredibly intriguing, especially juxtaposed. As we continue to grapple with using our bodies in the resistance movement, in the process of wrangling, uh, wrangling ourselves free from the grips on our freedom that are based on the oppression of our black bodies and their expressions. Oh, and by the way, Girl Trek's recounting of Anna Julia Cooper's travels through Europe and Africa were also inspiring. I think that's in season two of the same series. So for me, International Women's Day 2021 meant something different than lifting up all of the nationalities of wonderful women across our globe. It was about reflecting on what international travel and relocation has meant to our ancestors. Escape, refugee status, space to create seminal work, salvation even. It's a solid foundation on which to stand as to today's generations seek the same sanctuary across the seas. We call ourselves nomads and expats these days. Begin learning more about these women. That's my invitation to you from the links in the description box below and share with others and share also your comments in the comments, these two things. Any other resources that you can contribute to this mini catalog, that'd be great, about these women. Uh, Madame Josephine Baker, Miss Adrian Kennedy, and Miss Anna Julia Cooper. How their stories inspire you to lean into this year's IWD's theme of challenge for change. That change only happens once we challenge the status quo and other kinds of things that need to be challenged so that change can occur. Either in your life, challenge in your life, or in your community, or both. Raise your hand with me to pledge that you're in. We're in this together to challenge for change. And hey, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and share it all with others that you think would be interested. Happy International Women's Day still, and happy Women's History Month. Peace to you and all that is good.